recovery is really what I think of as the black box of uh, stroke management. You know, we've gotten good at stroke prevention. Uh, more recently, we've gotten very good at acute interventions like endovascular therapy, but we're still just beginning to crack open the possibility of, of what we can do around stroke recovery and, and promoting uh, brain reorganization after someone has a stroke. And transcranial magnetic stimulation has been an exciting potential approach to doing this. And this trial, I think, is, is very exciting because the investigators used a randomized trial design to test whether a wearable device that provides continuous uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation can promote brain reorganization that may be of benefit. It was a small study, uh, kind of a, a pilot study, phase one, phase two, to show that this was possible, uh, really a proof of principle. So they were able to show that by giving people uh, 20 sessions of, of transcranial magnetic stimulation uh, over several weeks, they could, uh, using fMRI, they could show a change in cortical organization uh, and activation. And uh, so, so that suggests that there is potentially a beneficial effect on the brain from this approach. The study was too small to uh, prove that there was a clinical benefit, but it really wasn't intended to show that. And there were uh, suggestive benefits, uh, even in, in clinical outcomes also. So um, again, this is a, an area that's uh, been evolving over many years, and uh, it's very exciting to see that it's reached this level. The advantage to this kind of um, wearable magnetic stimulation is that the patient could uh, have it at home with them. They don't necessarily have to come into the, uh, to the clinic or to the academic medical center to have this sort of treatment applied to them. They could potentially use it at home and, and do it on their own as well. So I think uh, this really sets the stage for important studies that will be coming down the line in the area of stroke recovery.